Hi there, welcome to my channel, Mo Moon Tarot. My name is Mo Moon, and today I have a pick a pile love reading for you. I have six piles to choose from. There is a crystal on each pile, so you can choose by choosing a crystal or choose by just letting your intuition guide you. Go with your gut feeling. Usually your first um, hunch is the right hunch um, as to which pile to pick. So I'll go ahead and show you the piles. So these are the piles, starting with pile one over here. Pile one is the pyrite stone. Pile two is the pictured jasper. Pile three is the clear quartz. Pile four is the silver leaf jasper. Pile five is the carnelian. And pile six is the gold stone. So go ahead and pick from pile one over here to all the way to pile six over there. Um, go with your gut instinct. Go with what you feel is the right choice for you. And remember, if you start to listen to the reading and it doesn't resonate you, with you, you can go ahead and go to a pile that you might have also thought about or thought about picking. So welcome to your love reading for those of you who picked pile one with the pyrite. So the first question is, what do you want? So this is a love reading. What do you want? We have the hangman, spirit of the mighty waters, card number 12. So what I'm feeling with this is that you want a break. You want some time for yourself. You want some time to relax in love. You feel like you're giving a lot to your relationship or you feel like you're giving a lot to trying to find a relationship or you're giving a lot into a friendship that you hope will turn into a romantic relationship and you kind of want to take a break. You kind of want to um, have some time for yourself to uh, take care of yourself and to take care of what is important to you in your love relationship and also in perhaps your single relationship. If you're single, um, maybe you want to take some time for yourself and stop being so adamantly searching for that love partner. Um, things are going to change in time and in time as you progress through your love relationship or through your desire to have a, a love relationship, you will start to learn things about yourself that you never knew before. So that's what I see with the hangman for what you want. For what they want, I have the ten of chalices. So I see that they want happiness in their relationship with you. If you're not in a relationship, your future love partner wants happiness with you. They're thinking about you in the future and they're thinking, I can't wait to be happy with somebody that I'm in love with. If you're already in a relationship, um, what they want is they want to be happy. They want to be able to live in harmony with you. They want to be able to just be able to relax with you and to really enjoy life with you. Your future together. We have a uselessness, the seven of swords. So your future together, um, we have uselessness. So maybe the person that you're with is not really the right person for you. It could be that you're trying really hard and the reason why you want to really relax and take some time for yourself is because you're questioning the relationship. Um, this card is saying that your future together is not a useful relationship. It's not something that is going to be beneficial to you or to anybody else. So take that in mind. Also remember this is a general reading. So don't um, do anything at my advice. Just listen to your own common sense. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your logic and really look at the relationship that you're in and um, decide whether this relationship is right for you or whether or not you feel like it's time to move on. So I am going to draw an oracle card. to give uh, like a final message. And then I'm going to draw a card for a yes or no answer. These are French. Il faut d'abord se comprendre pour pouvoir comprendre les autres. It is important to under your understand yourself in order to understand others. 
So I think this card is saying that it's important to understand what you want in a relationship. It's important to understand what you're looking for or what are the characteristics you want in a partner. And really, once you understand what you want, then you'll be able to understand the people around you and possibly even that person that is right for you. The last thing I want to do for, the, for those of you who picked pile one is um, go ahead and ask yourself a question that can be answered with a yes or no. And I'm going to pick a card and it's going to be the answer yes or no. So go ahead and take some time. Pause this video if you need to. Think about a question that I could that I could clearly answer with a yes or a no. And the answer is no. We have death. We have the death card. So I see this card as a no. So whatever you were asking with a yes or no answer, the answer is no. It's going to be uh, difficult for you if you try to move forward with this and try to say yes. So remember that this is the death card. It's saying that it's time to move forward with something. It's time to let something go. It's time to say no to something and move forward. So that was pile one's reading for the love reading. I hope it was helpful for you. If it wasn't, give it a thumbs down. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Remember to like and comment and subscribe on my channel and I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, welcome to those of you who picked pile number two. If you picked pile number two, you picked the picture Jasper. So this is your love reading with the pile that you chose. Remember that this is a general reading and don't take any, um, you know, direction from me. This is solely for entertainment purposes. And if you feel like it's helpful, that's great. And if you feel like you don't enjoy it, that's fine too. It's a general reading. So here is your love reading for those of you who picked the picture Jasper. What you want, nine of wands, lord of great strength. So you want a strong relationship. You want a relationship that has strong foundations. You want a relationship where you can demonstrate your characteristics and in uh, your relationship and be accepted for your for your your good points, the things that are good about you. Um, so you want with the Lord of strength, strength, nine of wands, you want to be able to, uh, be passionate about what you enjoy. You want to be able to express yourself. You want to be able to just be honest and open and, uh, genuine with the person that you're in a relationship with, or that you want to be in a relationship with. The next card is what they want. And I have the chariots. So they want to move forward. They want to progress. They want to evolve. They want to evolve with you if you're in a relationship. And if you're not in a relationship, that's what your future partner is looking for. For somebody that they can evolve with, for somebody that they can change with, perhaps even somebody that they can travel with. If you're in a relationship, maybe this person that you are in a relationship with is interested in going and seeing the world or just doing a road trip. Um, but somebody, um, somebody either... This person that, that you are in a relationship with or that you are going to be on in a relationship wants to be able to be in a progressive relationship where they can move forward and also be themselves. Your future together. We have truth, four of swords. So you want to be able to be in a relationship with somebody. Your future together is to be in a relationship with somebody with whom you can call a truth, truce when necessary. Agree to disagree. Agree to not necessarily agree with the person, but just to be in peace with the person. Um, to be able to be restful with the person in your mind, not to be able not to bicker. Um, and your future together, it does look good for that because you have the truce, you have, um, you know, that that har harmonious balance and also a humble um, partner that the humble partner that um, isn't going to try to uh, demonstrate their their aggression. Not, they're not going to try to be aggressive. They're not going to try to push their view on you. They're just going to let you be you and they're going to be themselves as well. So I'm just going to draw an oracle card. Just a sec, this one wasn't put back properly. Okay. I'm going to draw an oracle card. Peace, harmony, and love are now a part of you. You open your soul, your spirit. The light illuminates you and those around you. So it's a French card. It says... 
La paix, l'harmonie et l'amour font maintenant partie de toi, de moi. Je m'ouvre à mon âme. La lumière qui est à moi illumine tout, tout autour de moi. So like I said, peace, harmony and love are now a part of you. You open your soul and spirit. The light is illuminates you and those around you. So I think that's a good message for you with your relationship, that you're helping others around you in the relationship that you're in or the, in the relationship that you're going to be in. Um, you two will be good together at helping others while you help each other. So the last thing I'm going to do is ask you to ask yourself or ask the divine a question that can be answered with a yes or no. And I'm going to pull a card and I'm going to tell you if it's a yes or no. So if you need to pause this video to think of a question, go ahead and do so and come back and I'll tell you what the answer is, yes or no. And if you want to ask that right away, here's the card. The answer is yes. It's the, the Knight of Pentacles. So it, the answer is yes. It's going to take a little bit of uh, time and patience and it's going to take a lot of determination. But the answer is yes to your question. So I hope that was a helpful reading. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, welcome to those of you who picked pile three with the clear quartz. This is your love reading. Remember, this is a general reading. So if it doesn't apply to you, let it go. And if you want to choose a different pile, go ahead and see if that pile will resonate with you. But hopefully this will resonate with you. So what you want in your love relationship, three of pentacles, Lord of material work. You want somebody who's going to work hard in life. You want somebody that is like you, that works hard, that is into to accomplishing great things, that is into pushing their boundaries, pushing their limits and trying hard to be the best by working hard, by putting their best foot forward, by um, not being lazy. You want somebody who isn't lazy in a relationship, a love relationship. You want somebody who's going to put the effort into loving you and uh, showing you that they love you. What they want. We have the King of Pentacles. They as well want to work hard, but they're going to do so in a way where they can take their time and really cross all their T's and dot all their I's. They want to make sure that things are going to work out properly in their in the relationship with you. Um, and if you're not in a relationship, this is somebody that in the future you will be in a relationship with. And they're going to want to um, make sure that things are done right and that um, that they are showing you that the the appreciation that you deserve your future together. We have justice. So your future together is going to be uh, a future where you are um, helping others to see the truth about themselves. So perhaps you're going to be in a relationship with somebody that you are working hard with to make the world, world a better place. And um, you could be doing humanitarian work with this person, or you could be just um, being very social people who get along well with the people around you. And I'm going to draw an oracle card. Okay. Je m'aime de plus en plus car les vieilles habitudes s'envolent en fumée. I love myself more and more because old habits are, are going up in smoke. So it's a French card, but... I think that means that um, the more you love yourself, the more that um, bad habits that you have will just disappear. And the last thing I'm going to do is ask yourself a question that could be answered with a yes or no, or ask me a question that could be answered with a yes or no. I'm going to pick a card and I will answer whether or not the your question is a yes or a no. So... Take some time to think of a question. If you don't have one, you can always pause this video and um, come back when you're ready with your question and I'll let you know if it's a yes or a no. We have the Six of Swords. That's a yes. That's a yes, but it means that you're moving in a direction that is better for you. You're moving in a direction where um, you're letting go of old habits and you're moving forward in a positive direction. So that's why it's a yes. So whatever question you asked, it's a yes. 
So I hope you enjoy this video, this love reading. If you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment if you want to, and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, welcome to those of you who picked pile four with the picture Jasper. This is your love reading. So remember, this is a general reading. If it doesn't re resonate with you, let it go. And if it does, I'm happy to hear that. So what do you want in a love relationship? Three of Wands, Lord of Established Strengths. So you want to be in a relationship that is strong and has a strong foundation. You want to be in a relationship where you can demonstrate your characteristics, your attitude, your likes and dislikes. You want to be honest with the person that you're in a relationship with about what you like and what you dislike. You don't want to have to hide the true you. You don't want to have to um, dim your light. Um, you want to be able to be strong and to be with somebody who is strong as well what they want we have the five of wands so with the five of wands here i see confusion so what they want is to confuse you they want to um fight with you they want to play games with you so this is a relationship that you're currently in and if it doesn't apply to you please let it go i don't want to make put any thoughts into your head that aren't true but it seems like with the five of wands that they are very much busy bodies um this could be the person that you're in a relationship with now or the person that you're thinking about being in a relationship with um, they want to confuse you. They want to cause problems. They want to be a busybody. They want to spread gossip and they want to make up stories. Um, so even though you want a strong relationship with the Lord of established strength, I see that the person that you are with or that uh, you're thinking about being with doesn't want that. They just want to cause problems. Your future together, the Hierophant. So if you do end up going with this person, you will learn a lot about yourself and you will learn a lot about your connection um, between the material and the spiritual. So really you're going to grow, but you're going to be able to learn how to put up your boundaries and how to uh, structure uh, boundaries for yourself, how to structure limits for the person that you're in a relationship with now. And also for if you are in a relationship in, in a relationship with someone else in the future, you're going to learn from this current relationship that you're in now or the relationship that you will be going in that you're thinking about in your future relationship with the Hierophant, this relationship that you're currently in with this person who wants to cause confusion is going to teach you how to put, how to see where you where you need to put boundaries and how to be able to point out somebody that you uh, see as whether or not they are going to cause problems for you. The Hierophant is about structure. It's about, um, really organization it's about limits it's about boundaries so that's everything you're going to learn with this person is going to teach you where to put your limits and how to draw boundaries and they're really going to teach you what you want in a relationship with in, in a relationship so let's pick an oracle card Le temps n'existe plus pour moi, car je sais que l'ordre divin a pris ma vie en charge. Time does not exist for me anymore, because I know that the divine order has taken charge of my life. So it's in French, but I translated it. So it's basically saying that the divine is taking control of your life and that whatever needs to work out is going to work out. And that you're giving uh, yourself up to the universe because... Um, you're letting the universe take control of your life. So go ahead and think of a yes or no question. And I'm going to answer that with a card. You're welcome to pause this video if you want to take some time to think of, an, of a question. And I'll answer with a yes or a no with the card. So the answer is yes. The answer is yes. And you are looking over everything that you've built, you're looking at over everything that you've accomplished and you're feeling happy about it. And the answer is yes. So I hope this was a helpful reading for you. If it was, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you feel like you want to, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, welcome to those of you who picked pile number five with the carnelian.
this is your love reading. Remember, this is a general reading. So if it doesn't um, resonate with you, just let it go. It will resonate with somebody else. And if you want to pick a different pile, you can go ahead and do that. If this doesn't resonate with you, but hopefully it will. So here is your love reading. What you want, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of the Thrones of Earth. You want somebody who's going to treat you like a queen. You want somebody who's going to look at you and think, oh my God, I'm so lucky I'm with this person. You want somebody who's going to pamper you, who's going to um, treat you like the queen that you are. Um, you want somebody who's going to uh, see other women or men um, or whatever gender they are. You want somebody who's going to see you as the pick of the litter, somebody that has found a needle in a haystack. This person is, you want this person to think they found a needle in a haystack. So what they want, the nine of swords, oh, they want to find somebody or they want to be in a relationship with somebody who's going to make them feel better about themselves with the nine of swords. They have been um, badly hurt. They have had horrible words said to them in the past, the person that you're in a relationship with or the person that you're going to be in a relationship with. And they want somebody who's going to be able to help them, who's going to be able to pray for them or give them affirmations or um, tell them nice things about themselves and just be genuinely um, complimentary to them. They aren't looking to cause problems. They just really want to find somebody who's going to love them. And if you're already in a relationship, this person just wants you to love them and they want that or they want to be able to find healing in their relationship with you and your future together, the chariot. So you're moving forward together. Um, if you're in a relationship with somebody there, you're moving forward by leaps and bounds. You're growing in your relationship. You're learning a lot about each other. If you're not in a relationship yet, the future of that relationship that you will find is going to be one where you're making progressive movements. Um, you're learning about each other. You're learning about the world and you're really moving together in a positive direction. So I'm going to draw an Oracle card and see what it says. Les gens que tu côtoies et les décors dans lesquels tu vis sont le reflet de tes pensées. So this means the people that you spend time with and the way that your life is embellished is a reflection of your thoughts. So basically saying that um, whatever you manifest in your life is a reflection of the thoughts that you have uh, been putting in your mind or the thoughts that you've been letting in your mind are reflecting your exterior. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is think of a question that could be answered with a yes or a no. And I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to tell you if the answer is yes or no. So if you need to pause this video to think of a question, go ahead and do that. And if you don't, let's go ahead and pick a card. The answer is yes with the Queen of Swords, and it's a resounding yes. It's a yes, you know what you're doing. Yes, take control of your life. Yes, um, say those things that you wanted to say. Speak your truth. I do feel like with the Queen of Swords, it's a strong and resounding yes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave it a thumbs down or comment down below as to why you didn't like it. If you did, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, welcome to those of you who picked pile six with the gold stone. This is your love reading. Remember, this is a general reading. It might not apply to you, but if it does, I'm happy that it does. And if it doesn't, maybe you can pick another pile or uh, just move along. Hopefully it'll resonate with you though. So what you want in a love relationship, fortitude, daughter of the flaming sword. You want a strong relationship. You're not looking for a one night stand. Although if you do have a one night stand, you're hoping that the one night stand will turn into a strong relationship. So you're looking for somebody that is strong um, within themselves, that has a lot of passion, drive, determination, maybe even some creative ability. Um, somebody who isn't afraid to be themselves and who isn't afraid to put their uh, personality out there and put their best foot forward. What they want, whether or not you're in a relationship, the person that you will be in a relationship with or the person that you're currently in a relationship, what they want is the Knight of Pentacles. 
So they want to take time with you. They want to get to know you slowly. They want to allow the relationship to evolve in a natural manner. Um, they want to cross all their T's and dot all their I's and make sure that they're taking all the steps to do the right things for you. Um, they want to take time to get to know you, to get to know what makes you tick, and to really um, feel at peace in a relationship with you. And your future together is the hanged man. So what this card is saying is that in your relationship with the person that you're currently in a relationship with, or maybe in your future relationship, the results of your future together will be that you will grow and evolve in ways that you never thought you would with each other. You will possibly go through some difficulties or some uncomfortable situations, but you will come out learning a lot through those situations and you will find harmony. So I'm going to draw an Oracle card. Le pardon est un des secrets d'un vie pleinement heureuse. Car je n'ai plus le pouvoir de me détruire et de détruire les autres en conservant cette mauvaise habitude d'haïr. So what this means is, forgiving is one of the secrets to be happy. Because you don't have any more desire to destroy yourself and just to destroy others in trying to hold an attitude of hate. So maybe you've learned how to be a loving person um, and now um, you learn how to forgive and um, that's one of the secrets of being in a happy life, in a happy relationship. Last thing I'm going to do is think of a question that can be answered with a yes or a no. If you can't think of one right now, you can pause the video and come back when you're ready and I'll let you know if the answer is yes or no. We have the emperor. So the answer is yes, but it's a very structured yes. So there are a lot of rules and regulations around what you're asking. There's a lot of uh, red tape possibly. There's a lot of um, rules that need to be listened to, but the answer is yes. And the answer is yes. And it will be a resounding yes. It will be a strong yes. So I hope this was a helpful reading for you. If it was, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do leave a comment down below. If you feel like you want to, if you want to leave a thumbs down, go ahead, but please make sure to tell me why, if you have the balls to, Oh my God. Anyways, my name is Mo Moon and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.